Assalamu alaikum. My dear students, hope you are all well by the grace of Almighty Allah. Welcome to our NIBS Home School. I am Shandida Rahman, Assistant Teacher of National Idea and English Version School, Day Shift. Today I am going to take a science class for the student of our class 2. Now we will start our class. Our today's topic is chapter 5, reading done, page number 43 to 45. Exercise number A, B, C, D. And now our today's homework is homework number 8, exercise number C. Our lecture number 11 and homework number 8. My name is Shandi Darhman and our term is Hafi Hafi. Now, in our previous class, we will discuss chapter 5, the human body. And <coughs> we will discuss page number 42. Uh, 42 and today we will discuss page number 43. Now let us start our class. In page number 43, in our previous class, we will discuss uh, our human body. What is the sense organ? How many sense organ in our body? Which are they? And what is the uh, work of a muscle? What is the work of a joint? How many bones in our body? And what is the... Um, duty or what is the work of a <coughs> joint so in our today's class we will discuss uh, another things like this we sweat when we exercise sweat removes the waste matter from our body to keep us well we need to take food and also we need to do exercise and when we are exercising our body is sweating and when it is sweating it is good for our health sweat removes the waste matter from our body lots of types of exercise we can do like walking jogging swimming dancing here playing footballs here is uh, the name of some exercise like walking swimming playing football they are playing football here posture Posture is also very important for our body. The way in which we sit, stand and walk is called posture. Posture is called when the way in which we sit, stand, walk, it is called posture. When we cannot take balance or maintain balance in our body, when we uh, sit, when we walk or when we stand, we will be fall down. So, you need to take, um, uh, keep our balance. It is called posture. It is very important to have an upright posture. A correct or good posture helps to keep our body fit in proper shape. Correct or bad posture hurts our muscles. When you walk, you need to walk in a straight way. When you will be uh, suddenly fall down like this, your body or your backbone will be um, feel pain after when you finish walking. So you need to keep your uh, backbone straight to uh, when you are walking. So this is called posture. When we sit in the chair, we need to keep our um, backbone straight. But if we will stay uh, like this or like this or like this, it will be not correct. Okay. The straight way which we sit or walking, it is called the posture. Our <coughs> today's class. So in this chapter, we will learn that uh, uh, we have five sense organs and in our body there are 206 bones in our body uh, there are muscles muscles join our bones and uh, cover our bones also it helps to um, make shape of our body our body have a skeleton our skull protect our brain and our ribs protect our heart and lungs in this chapter we will uh, discuss the different kinds um, different shape of our body different things of our body like bone muscle joints and other things also now we will do the exercise exercise number one <coughs> a tick the correct answer you have to put the tick mark which one is the correct number one which is not a sense organ which is not a 
sense organ here is the three example skull eye and skin we know that <coughs> our nose mouth eye ear they are our sense organs in our body there are five sense organs so which is not a sense organ here eye and skin is the sense organ and skull is not a sense organ so we put the tick mark on a skull number two an exercise is writing dancing sleeping which one is an exercise we will put the tick mark on dancing because when you dance your body is moving and also you are sweating and when you're sweating the waste materials from your body is removed so it is called exercise when you walk you use your hand muscle neck muscle leg muscle when you walk you use your leg muscle we put the tick mark on leg muscle the skull protects the heart liver brain our skull the bone of our in our head which cover our uh, brain it is called skull so skull protect our brain the thigh bone is pivot stira femur thigh bone is femur <coughs> the thigh bone is femur now write what write what each does here is the name of some organs of our body in table number a there is the name of some organs of our body like tongue muscles skeleton skin and what are the function you have to write what are the function of these muscles <coughs> or these organs name tongue tongue help us to taste muscles what is the uh, work of our muscles muscles help us to move skeleton skeleton give shape of our body strength and support protect our body <coughs> now the work of a tongue taste muscles move skeleton give shape strength and support skin protect our body number c fill in the blanks in the fill in the blanks we will do the fill in the blanks number one dash are hard and strong in our previous class we learned that bones are hard and strong bones are hard and strong the shortest bone is dash the shortest bone is stapes Step is basically situated inside of our ear. Three um, bones, malleus, incus, and step is. These three bones make our cochlea, which is inside of our ear. And the smallest bone of our body is step is. There are dash bones in our body. We learned that there are 206 bones in our body. Number four dash makes our bones and muscles strong regular exercise regular exercise make our bones and muscles strong number six dash are so, uh, sorry number five the point where two or more bones join together is called a joint
the point where two or more bones join together is called a joint number 6 dash are soft muscles are soft number 7 as we grow dash grows to our bones grow so in number c dash are hard and strong bones are hard and strong number 2 the shortest bone is steps number 3 there are 206 bones in our body number 4 regular exercise make our bones and muscles strong number 5 the point where two or more bones join together is called a joint number 6 muscles are soft number 7 as we grow our bones grow too our bones grow too now do the exercise number C, uh, d write true or false write true or false at first you read the sentence full sentence then you will decide which one is true and which one is false number 1 it is important to have an upright posture it is important to have an upright posture the answer is true number 2 we have four uh, sense organs it is false because we have five sense organs number 3 muscles protect the soft inner part of our body muscles protect the soft inner part of our body it is false number 4 the bones in our chest is the ribs true the bones in our chest is the ribs number 5 we sweat when we exercise true Number 6 the way we sit and walk is exercise the way we sit and walk is exercise false so again we read the exercise number d it is important to have an upright posture to we have four sense organs false muscles protect the soft inner part of our body false the bones in our chest is the ribs true we sweat when we exercise true number 6 uh, the way we sit and walk is exercise false our exercise is uh, done and in this chapter we will learn that our sense organs include nose ear tongue eye and skin we have five sense organs our skeleton is made from bones joints and muscles as we grow our bones grow too ribs protect our heart and lungs skull protect our brain the skeleton bends on uh, at joints bones are muscles together help us to move sweat removes the waste matter from our body and our exercise exercise is exercise number 8 exercise c my dear students hope you will understand our today's class you will stay at home read properly do your exercise stay safe and stay well till then assalamu alaikum